Y'all, I broke out the LU mug and the Liberty shirt because I felt like it was only appropriate, you know? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here or if this is the very first video of mine that you're watching, welcome. My name is Christina Clark. I am 20 years old and I am a junior at Liberty University. <laughs> On my channel, I predominantly post faith-based and lifestyle content. So if that's something that you are interested in, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things that I wish I knew before attending Liberty. Now with that being said, even though these are some things that I wish I knew before attending, they wouldn't have changed my mind on going to school here and they wouldn't have affected like my transferring decision process by any means. I just think that these things would have been helpful for me to know beforehand or that literally I just wish I knew before attending. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I have a list of things off to the side that I'm going to be reading off of. So if I'm not looking at y'all and I'm looking off into the distance, I'm just looking at my list, um, yeah. The first thing that I wish I knew before attending Liberty University has to do with the PLUS plan. I wish I would have known that if I got the PLUS plan, I can only get certain things with the PLUS swipe. For example, if I wanna use a PLUS swipe at Dunkin', if I go to Dunkin', I can only get either a small iced coffee or medium hot coffee, but then you get two donuts with that. And you can't change it up. You can't be like, oh, well, I want a large iced coffee. That doesn't work. You have to get what is offered within the plus plan. It's the same thing like at Chick-fil-A, at Garbanzo, like only certain things are included. And if you want something else, you have to use dining dollars. So I just wish I would have known that before. Okay, Um, the next thing is not everyone there is a Christian slash tries to live a godly lifestyle. And I guess I kind of knew this before, but I, I thought it was basically non-existent. But there's a lot of people that don't glorify God in the actions that they do and they don't try to. And there's also a lot of people that aren't Christians and like that's totally fine no like hate or shade or anything but I was just surprised like finding out how many people party or how many people just do things that you wouldn't expect people at Liberty to do okay next is how to play spike ball <laughs> okay there's something going on with Liberty campus where everybody and their mother plays spike ball and it all happens on like the Commons 3 lawn and like a few other places but mostly that's where it is and oh my goodness the lawn will be filled with people playing spike ball it is literally like life or death when it comes to that game everyone knows how to play it everyone plays it all the time if the weather permits it but yeah i wish i knew how to play spike ball before i came to liberty so i could you know show them up the next thing that i wish i knew before coming to school here is that Girls at the school, they don't belittle each other. They don't size each other up. They don't put each other down. They build each other up. There are a lot of beautiful women at the school. You know, godly women. Yes, ma'am, we love that. And I think it's really common at other schools or, you know, it's just common in the world for girls to judge each other and put each other down to feel better about themselves. And I don't know why. I didn't know what to expect from Liberty, but I didn't think it would be the way that it ended up being, but instead of girls being jealous of other girls, they compliment each other. If they like what you're wearing, they think your outfit's cute, they will say that. They'll be like, oh my gosh, like I love your skirt, or oh my gosh, I love this about you. And it is such a nice atmosphere, and it's so heartwarming, and I think it all stems from us like having a love for Christ. Next thing I wish I knew was if you live on campus, you can only spend three nights away from campus a week. Unless you're going home to quarantine, within one given week, you can only spend three nights not in your dorm. Even if it's your parents' house, even if you're staying at someone's house that is not married. There's kind of, there's a few more rules and regulations and something to do with like being 20 and whatnot that I'm not gonna go into it. But basically for everyone, you have a max three nights that you can spend somewhere else. You can't go over the limit. Yeah. The next thing is this is not a bad thing at all, but I wish I would have known how many creative people there are, how many like entrepreneurs there are at Liberty. Like, oh my goodness. 
I swear this campus is one of the most creative go-getting campuses I have ever been at. The amount of people that I know that have their own clothing like line or company or like vintage clothing, it's insane. And like I I talk about my friends all the time on this channel. So if you've been watching my videos, you probably know, but like my friend Jolie, she has a earring company, like clay earring company called Clay Chic. My good friend Chance started called True. So you guys should buy the clothes. <laughs> Because then that would make this worth it. Facts. Facts. And he also actually just started like a vintage thing called Vintage Importance. There's so many other brands and like people doing things on this campus. Also YouTube channels or people who um are just, I don't want to say famous, but like that do have some clout. Like it's crazy how many people are building something from the ground up, but that also circulates around God. I'm so proud to say I'm a Liberty Flame and I'm so proud that these are my friends and that this is like what they're doing. It's honestly, it's amazing. And yeah, I'm in total support. Another thing that I wish I knew before coming to Liberty was that the dress code, it's not OD at all. And I feel like when a lot of people hear about it, it, it does sound OD. And a part of me was like, oh gosh, like I'm gonna be dressing like a pilgrim every day. Uh, as funny as that sounds like Loki, that's what I thought but really the dress code it's not serious the only time you have to follow it is when you're in class so like if you're going to the dining hall if you're walking around on campus like you can literally wear whatever you want obviously do not be walking around in like bra and underwear but but you don't have to follow the rules and regulations of the dress code unless you're in class and if you're in class really like i'm not gonna lie i haven't always followed the dress code and i've never gotten dress coded but i think the big thing that you have to follow for a girl you just don't show your stomach and don't be wearing booty shorts i think that's just the main thing the next thing is everything closes down so early at liberty oh my goodness if you want some tea i think three times the cops have told me that i had to the cops have told me that I had to leave somewhere because it was actually closed. Like the monogram closes really early and I guess that one makes sense, but the fifth floor of DeMoss, okay, if y'all don't know, check that out when you come to Liberty. DeMoss, the fifth floor, it's literally a rooftop. It looks like the scene in High School Musical where it's like the, the rooftop at the garden. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That's what it looks like, but that closes early. Everything closes so early and I don't understand. And I know there's things like curfew and all, but even before curfew, a lot of things close, which makes no sense to me, so. Oh, okay, so this is something that I was really surprised about. And not that I'm planning on like indulging in this, but this is just something to keep in mind even if you're 21 and you're of age to drink you're not allowed to drink alcohol whether it's definitely not on campus but even off campus which it, it was really surprising because you know you're of age and even if we want to look at it in a biblical sense Jesus drank wine with his disciples I personally don't think drinking is a sin um I think drunkenness is a sin but yeah, even if you're 21, you're not allowed to drink alcohol if you're like a Liberty student. So yeah, just something to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this next thing makes me so mad. I made one of my presentations for my comms class. We had to do a persuasive speech and this was mine because I'm so passionate about it because I get so fired up about it. Going back into everything closes so early at Liberty, the library. The library, oh my goodness. I just have some words for the people who run the Jerry Falwell Library. Not trying to get up here and bash it like everybody else, but it makes zero sense to me that every day of the week, besides Friday and Saturday, the library closes at 11.30. Keep in mind, curfew is at 12 a.m., okay? So, I mean, that, that makes sense, I get it. Like, that's a good amount of time and you have time to get back to your dorm. But Friday and Saturday, the day that you have an extra 30 minutes of curfew too, Okay, an extra 30 minutes. It closes at 10 p.m. And this makes no sense to me. Like, yeah, I don't really want to spend my like Friday and Saturday nights at the library like that late either. But there have been so many times where I needed to or I needed the computer lab or I needed to 
like it's just a quiet space to work and then I had to go over to the mosque and yeah it was just a whole mess but literally I, it makes no sense why when we have a later curfew they close earlier I get like people like they want to go home and spend time with their families but like it's a college campus it's a college library and usually libraries at public university are open 24 hours yeah I think that's something that really needs to change at Liberty but that would have been nice to know beforehand um okay so i'm just gonna read a couple more and i guess if you want a part two to this video let me know so i can keep telling you guys this but um i'll just read like two more so the next one is kind of on me not gonna lie but even though it's a christian campus and they are incorporating god into everything like praying you know before the class starts or praying before tests or convocation campus community night all of that even though like god is incorporated in a lot of things I found it really hard to prioritize my personal relationship with the Lord. Like, campus community night, like, phenomenal. But in terms of finding that time every day, like, in between classes, hanging out with people, doing things for liberty, and especially if you have, like, a work-study job, like, all of that, it made it really difficult to keep that relationship going strong in that one-on-one -on -one sense. But, yeah, I think that was just something I, I probably should have kept in mind or probably should have been more aware of before going to school there. Speaking of work studies, another thing, it is impossible to get a work study job there. It's impossible to get a job on campus. Is it literally impossible? No, but it's pretty dang close because I was approved for federal work study, a lot of my friends were, and we all applied to so many different jobs and no one would respond back to us. And it's not because we weren't qualified, but like, I don't know, maybe we were applying late or whatever, but it's so hard to get a work study job there. So if you're planning on getting one, act on it as soon as you can and apply to so many different ones please and the last thing that i'm going to say for this video is that um when it comes to CSER, so if you don't know CSER is like a community service thing at liberty where you have to do 20 hours of community service every semester i think that's an amazing and awesome thing that they have but the thing that I didn't know was you can either do 20 hours one semester or 20 hours the next semester, so it equals 40 for the whole year, or or you can do 40 all in one semester. So um, that is what Christina is gonna be doing for spring semester, but that's just, it's a nice little thing to know. So if you wanna knock it all out in the beginning, you can, or if you're a procrastinator, you can do it all in spring. Um, And yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Those were a lot of things that I wish that I knew before coming to school here at Liberty. I love Liberty. I'm so blessed to be a flame. Like, there ain't no one like us. There ain't no one like us, okay? Um, I love the campus and I am so pumped to finally be going back this spring. I feel like it's been forever and I can't wait to see all my friends. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell notification, like I said earlier, so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you guys are debating whether or not to come to Liberty, if you have any questions, if you need advice, if you want to like meet up on campus for CFA or if you're coming to school here and just like want to get coffee or something, I am so down. I would love to meet you guys and just like help in any way shape that I can so um definitely please reach out to me comment on this video dm me on instagram I respond to my dms um and I would love to do something with y'all may the lord bless you may he keep you may he make his face shine upon you I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video bye peace out girl scouts <laughs>